Hi guys, it's uh, Carlos here at uh, Carlos Coaching Corner once again. Thank you so much for watching my video. And today we are talking about how do you deal with criticism. Okay, this is going to be a brief video because I had an email from one of you guys. Uh, he actually was a, a player and says, Carlos, how do I deal with criticism? I've been criticized really badly. Um, and basically I responded, uh, was it by fans? Was it by... Uh, coaches, was it by managers? He says, well, I've been criticized by several people, uh, including my teammates, as well as uh, managing, coaching, uh, obviously fans got on my back as well. Uh, bear in mind, this guy plays uh, semi-pro. Okay, now, let me help you. Okay, this is a long, 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 long discussion that a lot of people have out there, but I'm going to keep it quite simple. Now, number one, don't give it energy. What I mean by that is, if someone begins to argue with you, and you begin to argue back, what do you get? Okay, you guessed it. You got a fight. Okay, now, if someone begins to call you names and argue with you, and you don't argue back, what happens? Eventually, that person gets bored, because there's so much they can call you names or shout, and you don't respond. So, meaning, you become a winner. And they become frustrated. And what happens when you get frustrated away? Ends up somewhere, not with you. So if I'm shouting at the camera, the camera's not responding, what happens? I'm going to get bored. I'm going to get annoyed. Some of you might say, smash the camera. Yeah, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not getting a response. Okay, the outcome that I want, the camera's not going to attack me. Unless you've got my camera, sometimes it attacks me. <laughs> okay, so as you can understand, don't give it thought. Don't give, don't give it any energy, okay? Now, number two, just focus on what you're there for, which is results. You're there to focus on your goals, so you're there to focus on, on, on your particular goal, okay? If you do that, everything else goes away. Number three, what is your status? And what is your BS? Because, do you know what I mean? Now, you made a mistake. Not, not, not BS from that BS that you're coming from. It's all about belief systems. Now, whatever your belief systems are, you're going to be in a good state of mind. So therefore, regardless of what people think, right, it doesn't matter. Look, let me tell you something. I have read over 500 books of personal development, physical development, coaching development. The, the list goes on and on. That does not make me a guru whatsoever. Okay, by the way, anyone could do that. Okay. But let me explain one thing I learned okay, upon my journey. And this is something that really has helped me to become probably the person I am. Okay. I'm at this stage where of my life, I can tell you, this is something obviously I can tell anyone, and I'll tell this to my, cl my clients, to my, co to my players, uh, to coaches I know. I don't really care what people think of me. Do you know why? Because the only person that can judge me, you know who it is. There's only one person that can judge me. Do you know who he is? It's God. Okay? Now, the only person that can associate that to a judgment is myself. Now, people are going to think things of you anyway, whether you are perfect or imperfect. Okay? Or not so much so okay. People are going to think things of you. Now, whatever they think is nothing to do with my business. So I let them think whatever they think, and they're going to think anyway. Okay, so let go of that. Once you let go of that, you become better. Now, the other thing and the final thing you really have to do, and this is the ultimate thing, really have the end in mind. So you really need to understand where you're going with it. Okay, now once you get criticized, okay, you need to think to yourself, why was you there? So if you were there to perform well, just focus on your goals, focus on your, on your actually um, program that you need to, in order to achieve what you want to achieve. Which is obviously you need to program your mind to really go, you know, this is what I'm here for. This is what I, I'm, I'm, I'm performed to do, okay? So you focus on your performance, on your goals, on your program in order to achieve that state of mind. And once you get that belief system, which is all about BS, okay, you win. You win and things flow. Don't take me wrong, you're still going to make mistakes. Because everyone makes mistakes, no one's perfect. But the more power you give to it, the more energy they get. And the more annoyed you're going to get, the more annoyed they're going to get. And the more annoyed you're going to get, and the more annoyed they're going to get. And do you know what happens? It goes back like that. Do you know what that is? Okay? It's table tennis. And what's this? It's a circle. And it's quite vicious. It's called vicious circle. 
don't do it don't give it any power let it go till next time guys it's Carlos Coaching Corner once again inspiring you take care of yourselves have a great day